Jason and open up for your questions. Well, I thought obviously we we needed to get back on track from from our game at Oklahoma State, and I thought our team was really ready to play today. Tremendous first half from an energy perspective. And I, I thought we were really, really good on the defensive end. Shared the ball well, made good decisions, went in at halftime and maybe went to sleep a little bit at half. Um, and and did, I just didn't think we were as interested in execution and interested in energy in the second half. But again, like I told the team, it's Big 12 play and, and you don't you don't have a lead in Big 12 play and, and that team lay down or decide they just don't feel like playing anymore. That's not the way it's going to be in the Big 12. So I think, you know, Kansas State executed some things and shot the ball better in the second half, which, you know, sometimes that happens. So it's not like we're going to blow anybody out probably in this league. So I, I think we have to understand that and continue to execute things down the stretch of games. Coach, I guess your, your, your game plan early on was to go down low and just keep hammering them inside. Were, were, you, were you surprised at, at how it just kept continuing to work and kept continuing to work for whatever reason? Well, I thought we did a better job in the first half of reversing the basketball and waiting on it to happen. There's times that we just want to hurry up and either throw the ball inside or hurry up and shoot. And we were much better in the first half of this game letting plays happen and also reversing the basketball, even even simplest, against the zone. We were so much better about getting the ball the high post, getting the ball the short corner, and playing off of the post players, which is, you know, just a learning experience from our last game. Nick, were you pretty excited about, about this matchup going in? I mean, you know, kind of what Coach was talking about. I mean, this, this game really lent itself, you know, to you guys, you know, going inside, which meant that it was going to be a pretty active day for you, right? Um... <clears throat> I'm excited for any Big 12. I'm just excited to be in Big 12 conference conference play right now. And um, obviously the fact that we knew that they were smaller on the inside and the game plan was to get it inside and to open up the outside for our guards didn't come hurt at all either. Do you get more excited when you know the other team is that short or do you like challenges where they're face to face with you? Um, I enjoy challenge, but... Uh, Understand question, but I, I mean, I just enjoy a challenge. I like going up against a defender who I know is going to make me think and make me um, think more about my moves and what I have to do offensively. Coach, whenever a team is, play, is, is, is having such a hard time shooting the basketball like Kansas State was in the first half, whether it was because of y'all's defense or not, is it, is, it, is it difficult to keep your team up going into half and out the second half to make them realize that? Okay, eventually some of these shots are going to start following and keep playing. I think it is. I think it's hard to keep, especially if you're young. And we're, we're a really young basketball team still. I mean, when you take our only experienced guard out of, out of the lineup, then you're looking at a, a really young basketball team, especially at the guard position, which that, that was who was getting the pressure as far as the threes were concerned. So um, it is hard sometimes to regroup, and especially with the energy level that – we played with in the first half to stay focused and, and keep that same energy level, but you have to because that team right there can come back and erase a 20-point deficit very quick. Coach, you have mentioned before about this particular season, your team playing with more confidence and more consistency. Do you think that the, the first half was more indicative of what you're looking forward to, uh, forward to throughout the season? I think I think that's what we have to work towards, is what we look like in the first half. We, you know, the guards took open shots, um, and we took advantage of matchups. We took advantage of what our strengths were against this particular team. And to be quite honest with you, I think it is a strength against most people we play. I don't think that we can look at K-State and say, okay, well, we had a matchup advantage in the paint today. I think we have a matchup in the, in the paint advantage of the paint most nights. And we have to do a better job of being patient and getting the ball into where our strengths are and playing inside out. And, and that's something that, are, that we're going to have to learn because it sounds like you're saying, don't shoot. And it sound, but that's not what it is. It's playing inside out because at some point you're going to get shots out of reversal or kickouts from your post player. So I, I think we just have to grow in that area.
Monty, the first half was such a, well, I guess, pretty short for you because of the fouls. How eager were you to come out in the second half and actually get to play some did tribute like you did? I was really excited. Um, the first half of the season wasn't really particularly well for me, especially not for my standards, considering what I did last season. So I was excited to have a new season and new opportunity in Big 12 play to just produce more and be more of an asset to my teammates. Why do you think that you weren't a bigger presence, so to speak, in the first half of the season? The first half of the season, I was struggling with practice, conditioning, attitude, a lot of things. I had to adjust to a new role. I had to get myself back in game shape. And I'm still kind of figuring out how to turn my on switch on. And I didn't really think that would be something that would be a problem. But Coach kind of talked to me about that beginning of the season, but I didn't really start to understand it until we were playing. And I was like, why am I not doing well? So I think that's something I'm still struggling with, just figuring out how to get my motor running and be more competitive quicker, I guess. Coach said that you guys should have probably an inside advantage most of the time, that's the height that you guys have at Kelsey. Do you feel that way, and do you feel like you can beat most teams if the big – girls play as their standards? Yes, but I don't really, I'm, in, the way we practice we have a great coaching staff and a great team, and if we're all playing the best of our potential, we should be able to beat any close team in the country. Coach, you mentioned the youth of this team, but because of that and, and, and because of you know the learning curve that they still have as far as you know being a tougher team and going on the road, how important is it to win you know, you know, you guys to take care of games here at the Irwin Center, you know, considering that maybe road games might be a little tougher for this group. It's huge, and it's one of those things where, I mean, we can talk about the fact that we're being young, but this young team has high goals, and they have aspirations of winning a conference championship, and if you're going to put yourself in that position, you have to win home games. You, you have to steal a few on the road, uh, but you have to try to hold serve on your home court. And, I mean, we already have – you know, last year we it, we had, we waited a while for a Big 12 win, so I'm excited about this win. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on you know too much of the negative because we waited a good while I think last year on one, so we already have one under our belt. Um, I, I do think that the Oklahoma State game wasn't as much about it being on the road. I think it was an adjustment for our team to go on the road. Or it, it would, I think if it would have been at home, it may have been the same situation. We had to go into a situation where we, everybody's roles changed maybe just a little bit with, with Chaz going out. And I think had we had a game under our belt, maybe we would have been a little more comfortable with that. But um, anytime you lose a player, everybody's roles change just a little bit. And that's an, there's an adjustment period with that. And we'll get better as we go along. I've said the whole time I think that this team is going to reach their potential at the right time because of how young we are and we had some players that were out and their conditioning level and their reps are going to – all of that's going to go into effect a little bit later on in the, in the conference season. So I'm, I'm really excited about where I think we're headed. Neca, you've taken such a leadership role this year, scoring, rebounding. The ultimate success of this basketball team right here, how much does it depend on Imani and her – making the kind of contribution that she's capable of? Um, Coach has always said that we're a better team with Amani. Um, I feel like Amani brings a different look to this team, and we are missing her production, but I know that once she mentally prepares herself and physically gets back into the appropriate shape that she needs to be in, she's going to elevate this team to the level, to the next level, because we would be a much better team with her than we are without her. Do you say things to her at practice? Like, get going. It's you not need a to. say. It's more huh? of a. <laughs> What's that? It's not really a say. It's more of a. Do. A yell. We try to hold each other accountable as she often as possible. What do you say to her? She's like what a do big you do sister. What do I do to her? Yeah, you kick her and push her. <laughs> no, I just try to motivate her. And if motivation doesn't work, we go a different route. But for the most part, <laughs> she gets it done for the most she part. She snaps at her. I can, I can tell you that.
sometimes she snaps at her and sometimes she quietly goes over and tells her something. Imagine that most athletes will never say, I may have had an attitude problem. What was it? I've never seen you with an attitude problem, but what do you think? What are you talking about? I think it's just maturity. Um, my second year, adjusting to not to being able to be off the court last year didn't matter what I did in practice. My coach couldn't take me off the court, so I had that type of attitude. And just really just humbling myself and listening to what my coaches had to say, regardless of anything. I had a big talking back problem at the beginning of the season. And, you know, you learn. <laughs> you learn quickly. It is immaturity. That's all it is. Do you ever think the average fan will look at you and say, that girl is so important to this basketball team? I mean, do you understand what you can do? I don't really think, I'm not sure you're supposed to think like that as a player. You should know your role, and I think my role is important, just as everyone else's role is important. But to say that this team sinks or floats with, with me or without me is not true at all. We were, what, seven and four preseason without me? So, I mean, it, it helps that if I'm here, but it's not going to deter us from victory if I'm not. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.